prayers up for Rihanna because she is going through it. Her baby daddy, ASAP Rocky, is facing some serious charges. Also, Adrian Bylone Holton welcomed her first child, and her journey to motherhood has been very, very emotional. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to The Impressive Channel. The singer and talk show host Adrian Bylone Holton revealed that she just welcomed her first child with her husband Israel through a surrogate. She said this in her caption on Instagram, Ever James, for this child we have prayed just to hear our baby cry skin to skin and face to face, heart to heart and eye to eye. Our baby boy is here and we are so in love. If you have followed our love story, you know our journey to having a baby has been very challenging, but God is true to his word and his promises. We have quietly prayed while sitting on this most magnificent secret for the last nine months. He is worth every tear, every disappointment, every delayed prayer, every IVF cycle, every miscarriage, everything. All we feel is joy and overwhelming love and gratitude. Grateful to God, to our angel surrogate, and to our friends and family who have stood with us for over five years on this journey. He's here and we have never been happier to lose sleep. Hashtag happily ever Holton. What a beautiful caption. This moment is so amazing and I'm so happy for Adrian and Israel, especially Adrian because this is her first child and she has been wanting this child for a very long time. And as you read from her caption, she went through so much to have this baby. And if you've watched the talk show, The Real, you would know this. She's talked about her journey to motherhood several times and it wasn't easy for her at all. I mean, the fact that she was doing a talk show while dealing with the heartbreak of having failed IVF treatments and miscarriages had to be a lot. Here's just some of what she revealed about her journey on The Real. I wanna have a baby. If I can get pregnant between this window, then I can give birth. That's not the way it works, and, and it didn't work know. out that way. You know, we even took like time off. We were like, oh man, it didn't work out the way I thought it was. Guess I'll try next year. Isn't that crazy how we as women put so much pressure on ourselves that it didn't work out for the timeline I thought I wanted, so I actually stopped trying. Everybody doesn't get pregnant right away, and right. I think for myself, I thought it would happen so easily for me, and it just hasn't happened that way, and I, I have, had to come to peace with that, that it'll happen when it's God's timing. And I believe in that and I have faith in all of that, but it can be really discouraging and it can be really frustrating. So I think I looked at myself and, and in my mind, I was like, I'm a cheetah girl, I'm 19 years old. And then I woke up and was like, actually I'm gonna be 35 in a few weeks. And that makes a big difference. Like I can feel as youthful as I want on the inside and in my heart, but my ovaries are what they are. Uh, the number one thing I know they tell you is to remain calm. It'll happen when it happens. I know that all of that is so annoying to hear. Right. At the same time, it's so annoying to hear because you're like, I get that, but then you watch like, this is so annoying, but then you watch like teenagers that get pregnant and you're like, I'm ready and I'm willing and I'm prepared and why hasn't, you know, they can it sure. can be frustrating. When I was 28, 29, I actually had the opportunity to freeze my eggs. We even did it as an episode on Empire yeah. Girls with yeah. Julissa. And back then I remember going to the doctor's office and it was like this coming of age thing. And if I'm just being honest, it was something that the production company of the reality show was like, this is genius, like freeze your eggs. But I thought, this is so dumb. Like, I don't need to do right. this. Like, I'm so young, this is so ridiculous. And then I heard the price. And I'm gonna be honest, I was like, this is really expensive. And I just didn't think it was worth it. Mm -hmm. And I regret that now. Like, that's absolutely one of the things that keeps me up late. I'm like, I'm 38 years old. And Which when I was so 10 years ago, 28 years old, I had the opportunity to freeze my eggs. And if I'm being honest, I probably spent money on so many other dumb, frivolous things. Right. That a Louis Vuitton bag that I can't even find now. Right. And I'm like, that to me would have absolutely yeah. been worth it today. So that's I, something I feel was a, a really big mistake. I can understand that. Mine was not to give up on my dream of being a mother. 
I, I literally joke with Israel. I'm like, I am either the most resilient human being or I am wildly delusional. No, 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 no. I tell them I'm either one or the other. Cause you know, we get these bad notices and it'll be like, and it didn't work this time. Or, you know, I've done multiple cycles of IVF and so many other things. And I'll be sad for a day. Like I literally will cry and Iz will be so worried about me and like call my mom and be like, you know, she's okay. She's, and like the next day, I know this sounds psychotic. I'll be like, okay, I found three new baby names. And he'll be like, are you, you're good? Like, and I, I don't know why I refuse to let this be the end of my story. It's like, not I yet. know that it's, it's not. not, and I love it that I tell myself, it's not a question of will I be a mother, it's a question of when. When, yeah. And I promise myself, and I'm sticking to it, that it will happen. It will happen. And guess what, y'all? It happened. I'm so happy for Adrian. I'm really happy that she never lost faith even though she went through so many heartaches and so many setbacks she didn't allow it to discourage her she still believed that she would be a mother and another thing that i really respected about adrian too is even when she was struggling to have her own child she was also very happy for others she was very happy when her co-host Jeannie mai had her first baby and Jeannie, if some of you know, didn't want to have children for the longest time, but it was so interesting that she was able to have a child even before Adrian, and a lot of people didn't expect that, and Adrian probably didn't expect that either, but she was still very, very supportive of Jeannie, and it kind of showed how pure her heart is because I think it would have been completely natural for her to feel a little bitter and jealous, but she wasn't. I'm just glad that she finally has the child that she always wanted. I know she probably wanted to carry the child herself because she did go through multiple cycles of IVF treatments, but she decided that the best and most successful way to have a child is through a surrogate. And I think that was a great decision. Not everybody has a child in a traditional way, but the thing that's most important is the child getting here and the child being born into a loving, healthy environment and i just know adrian and israel are going to give their son so much love i really believe that and i do wish adrian all the best in this new chapter in her life she's going to be a really great mother she really is now moving on i want to talk a little bit about rihanna and asap rocky Rihanna and Rocky also welcomed their son not too long ago, but unfortunately they have not been able to rest in their parental bliss because they are dealing with a lot as a couple. And I think Rihanna has really been affected by it the most because she not only has been dealing with ASAP Rocky's mess, but on top of that, she's been dealing with people criticizing her image and saying that she's overweight, which is so ridiculous. I mean, she just gave birth three months ago so I don't know why anybody would fix their mouths to criticize her weight gain it's just really stupid but this is some of the things that she's going through however the case involving ASAP Rocky is probably the biggest concern right now because ASAP Rocky was recently charged for shooting one of his mob members now Rocky has this whole ASAP mob crew and one of the members from his crew named ASAP Relly went to the authorities and said that he was shot by Rocky. Now this shooting happened last year in November and apparently there was a dispute. The dispute between the two escalated and it led to Rocky allegedly pulling the trigger and grazing Relly's hand. So Relly's hand was injured. However, Relly didn't go to the police right away. He waited months before bringing this case up and he did file a civil lawsuit against ASAP Rocky because he's trying to get money from him basically. But once this case became public, the LA district attorney's office looked into it and they did charge ASAP Rocky with two counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm. So these are some pretty serious charges. It really sucks that ASAP was foolish enough to get himself in this situation. I don't really feel bad for him because what he did was stupid, but I do feel bad for Rihanna. I feel bad for her because I don't think she should have to deal with this stress. But this is one of the reasons why people have to be careful who they choose to have a child with. I said it before and I'll say it again, Rihanna settled. She could have had anybody in the world, but she settled for ASAP Rocky. And unfortunately, she has to deal with everything that comes with him. And I hate that for her. I really do. 
but it is what it is. I just wish her and her baby all the best and hopefully Rocky can stay out of trouble after this. I don't know exactly what these charges are going to lead to. I don't know if he's gonna face any jail time, which more than likely he will if he doesn't have a strong defense. I don't know if he's gonna have to pay off Relly. who knows, but either way, he just needs to learn from this whole incident and not repeat the same mistakes. It's time for him to grow up and stop making poor decisions. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.